Thanks to Shopify Magic, you can now edit your product photos using AI-enabled features. You can do things like remove the background entirely, replace the background with a solid color, or generate a new background image using AI. Let's log into Shopify and test it out together. We're going to take an existing image of a mock-up image that we have here and click on the edit icon. Currently, there is a solid image background, but we would like to change that. So we're gonna head on over to the right-hand side of our screen and click on Enhance Background. Shopify is quickly going to analyze the image. And now it looks as though the model has been separated from the background. So we do have a few different options here. We have Remove the Background. And then next, we can replace the background with a scene. So first, we need to describe the subject and tell Shopify what our product looks like. So I'm going to put man smiling at the camera, wearing a beanie. Next, we need to describe the background that we're looking for. So because the model is wearing a beanie hat, I think it's appropriate to create a winter scene. Next, I'll simply hit generate and we'll watch Shopify do its thing. All right, so our new AI generated backgrounds are ready. So as you can see, we've got the original here to compare it to. And now we have four different shots of the model seemingly in a forest on a snowy but sunny day. When you compare the original image to the new images, they definitely add a splash of color to your website on your product pages, but you can also use them for things like social media, which would really come in handy. Now let's try another mock-up image. Again, we're gonna go over to the right-hand side and click on Enhance Background. Shopify will do its thing and analyze the image again. And just like we did with the other image, we're going to describe the subject. So I'll put a woman wearing a dad hat. And then this time, instead of it being a nature scene, I'm going to have more of like a professional looking photo shoot. So we can put something like professional ad photography. We'll put cement background to kind of give it that edge. And I'll just add city streets and see what happens. So we'll hit generate and wait for our images to appear. Okay, so again, if we compare the original, we now have some pretty professional looking uh, photo shoot type looking pictures. Now, some are better than others, but that's just kind of how AI works, right? But I quite like this. It almost looks like she was on a professional photo shoot with a building behind her. Now that we've done a couple of model mock-ups, I wanted to do a few photos where it's just the product photo in the picture. So in this example, we have a canvas print. And this time, instead of adding a description of the background that we want, we're going to use the suggestions that Shopify gives us. So I do need to start out by describing the subject again. Pink canvas print with words on it. We're going to skip this field and head on down to the bottom suggestions. If we click on one that we like, it will populate the field for us. And then all we have to do is hit generate. These are especially handy if you're not quite sure what you're looking for. Okay, so let's have a look at our new images here. The backgrounds are quite pretty. This one is very nice and very minimalistic, which is great. And of course we can tweak the background description if we wanted to. So let's say we wanna add white walls. We can see what that does. Okay, so some of these still have pink walls, but there is one with a white wall here. Now, if you are doing a canvas print, what we could do is add um, a close-up shot. Because in some of these, it looks like the canvas is taking up the entire wall, which isn't very realistic. So let's add close-up shot and hit generate again. By adding close-up shot, my hope was that it would zoom in onto the product and remove things like ceilings or floors where it makes the product look really, really big on the wall. So while that didn't happen for the last one here, it did help with the other three for the most part. Last but not least, we have a crew neck sweatshirt. And in this example, I'm simply going to change the background color. So instead of scene, we're gonna select color. And then we have a few different options here to choose from, or we can select a custom color. If you have the hex code, you can simply enter it here, or you can play around with the colors down here. That brings us to the end of this tutorial. From solid colors to AI generated backgrounds to simply removing the background, you can now edit your Shopify product photos in just a few clicks.